Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to find an element by XPath in your Selenium Phoebe.net project. So first thing, go to google.com and here you will find a lot of elements for which you can find XPath. So usually you find XPath by going to inspect elements. Depending on the type of browser you have, you can collect XPath simply by right clicking and then copy, copy XPath. Okay, so in case of something like text box, you have to select that using inspector and then go ahead and then right click on it, copy, copy XPath. You can even simplify this by simply using your own regex knowledge to point out particular element. So we'll do that for this input box. Now open your selenium vb.net console project, type in imports system.text, then imports, type in openqa.selenium. Next, imports openqa.selenium dot chrome next thing imports open qa dot selenium dot support ui okay now inside main subroutine we will create driver variable by typing in bim driver adds ifib driver then driver equals to new Chrome driver then you can go ahead and call for driver dot navigate dot go to URL okay and here you can specify HTTP google.com okay now I'm going to find one element by first creating a variable name element as iWeb element equals to driver dot find element and here by xpath inside that method can have double quote and specify double slash input and then we can have system dot threading dot thread then sleep call for 5000 ms time frame and then element dot click or you can also have element dot send keys here you can pass on let's say hello world that will be searched in Google okay now this is pretty much the code for finding element by XPath now let's execute it and find out if it needs anything to change okay this opens console window where our Chrome driver will be started and then it opens Chrome browser window. Pay attention to the text box here because that's the place where we will have our key sent. Okay, so it says it breaks. Okay, so that means it fails to send keys to this particular XPath okay now we have to manually find XPath so that it will properly send characters to this place so let's select this one and here we can simply call for copy XPath and then we will paste here Okay, just make sure that it is within single quotes to get properly accepted. Okay, 
now that we have copied this x path we can execute the code again so let's pay attention to the text box now and see whether it sends the characters or not okay so it is sending our characters on this text box and that means our test is pass so this is the code for finding element using xpath